Welcome back, K&J Refining fans. We are going to be doing a silver bullet pour. Yeah, that's right. We're going to take some pure silver. We're going to be putting this into a sand mold silver pour. This is a 45 cal. And we're going to turn it into solid silver. So if you'd like to see that, stick around. Let's get to it. So I had to go through and pick up all the little splashes that came off and uh, get some off of, like right here, you can see where it burned. It actually stuck right there and stuck on my, my vice clamp, stuck inside the rivet right there. But other than that, I think we got everything picked up. Uh, there might be a few really, really small pieces somewhere, but uh, I think for the most part I, I picked everything up uh, it wasn't that much but let's go ahead and open this up and see how we did uh, this will be this was the third pour I believe so we're gonna hopefully get a good reveal here I'd like to so okay so this bullet was was ordered by a gentleman uh, with hide and seek prospecting. Uh, you may have heard of them, Jason and Molly. Uh, they do have a Facebook page, uh, hide and seek prospecting on Facebook. You can go check them out. They do a lot of outings. They're really fun people, a uh, great couple, very energetic and uh, very, 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 very cool people. So, uh, all right, so without any more delay, let's go ahead and open this up and uh, see what we got here. All right, before we look at that, let's see how our mold burned out. Looks like it burned out pretty good. So I have my entry point right here. And it looks like it got the end pretty well. Uh, the tip for the gassing valve uh, didn't look like it actually come out at all uh, If you can see right up here to the top You might be able to see a very small Little piece of silver So it didn't actually come out, but it did rise up into the Gassing valve that I put in uh, let me switch this around And we'll get this flipped over <laughs> I'm kind of nervous like I said there's this is a few pours in so uh, let's see. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. So I'll scrape this stuff off over here. Let's 
see how we did on this uh, casing. Because this is always the part that messes up on me, and this is actually the part that has made me report this already numerous times. And it looks like we got really well all the way around. Looks good and symmetrical all the way around it. Move it back over here. All right, so we have to clip this off. Uh, probably leave the the uh, sprue still connected for a moment while I clean up the bullet. All right, so this is what we have right now. Let me use a sheet of paper to kind of just collect everything for me. Go ahead and snip these extra pieces off. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave this connected to the sprue for now. Use it as a handle while I work the material. Handy dandy rusty file here. And I'm just going to kind of go around it and start cleaning up these edges. Alright, it feels pretty even all the way around. So that worked that way. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna profile this, the top of it down just a little bit. Small tools and we'll start working on it. silver bullet all the way complete there we go and that is the silver 45 cal I did put it in the uh, tumbler for 20 minutes just to kind of clean it up a little bit uh, just one bad thing about sand casting is you do get pitting and stuff like that and also the uh, chucks of my drill had actually put little indents in it, but it actually doesn't look too bad at all, really. Uh, let's see what we weigh in at in grams. Here we go. I think it was 28.7 or something like that. Twenty-eight. All right, 28.6. So 28 and a half gram. Pure silver. I did stamp the uh, 
the logo into the bottom uh, right there. But however, while I was making this, uh, Jason uh, messaged me and told me that he's probably going to turn this into a, a pendant. So uh, probably end up drilling a hole in the bottom here. I'm not sure how he's going to go about that. But uh, yeah, so that's the silver bullet. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Let's see here. Get those side by side like that. There we go. Actually, don't look too bad, really. I mean, yeah, it's a sand cast. Looks like it's uh, it's slightly smaller from the edge of the casing to the uh, to the back of the casing here, but diameter-wise, also a little bit smaller. But, uh, I mean, that's, that's sand casting. We did end up getting a little bit of the detail around the nose of the slug, which is pretty cool. Uh, a lot of it kind of buffed out a little bit and also with a tumbler. But anyway, that's both of those. And until next time, K&J Refining.